Posse, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I am fixing to put some cream in my ear. I'm just like, okay, let me video it, you know, and show you all. I have been doing this for myself for um about two years plus because it's just too expensive to get somebody to put some cream in your ear. The last time I paid for it, it cost me probably like $95 there about. And I'm just like, no, it's just not worth it. So I get my own ear cream and I cream my own ear. Mm -hmm. So today I'm going to show you how I managed to do that all by myself. So when I cream my ear, I section it in four just because it makes application and everything more easier for me. Makes it more easier for me to handle because even though my hair is light, it is so fine and so thin, it tangles and flies all over the place. Look at this. Uh, my hair hasn't seen any ear cream since um, it's like 14 weeks. So I am about to change that guys i'm trying to make it um even that way it doesn't burn my scalp and I have like equal time to put the cream in but for some reason I guess because it is so grown it's giving me more difficult time getting it even okay so guys this is the ear cream that I use um, I have the, this is a well when I just just cream my hair for the first time the ear just I use motion and it used to burn me a lot and then we started using the olive oil and it it doesn't burn me it doesn't burn me so I have stuck to the olive oil all this time and I remember trying another ear cream I don't remember the name of it but it was supposed to be an expensive and a really good one and it burned the crap out of my scalp so I resort to this one and I have stuck with it okay guys I don't know what happened there but sleep took me completely over I went to sleep and come back and see my face crush up <laughs> just wake up just 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 wake up Oh my goodness. <laughs> Okay guys, so this is all mixed out and all smooth. Okay. Can't okay, waste a drop. But we Jamaicans, you know, we ain't waste nothing. If I could use water and wash it off, I'll do that. These also come in the, the kit, guys. The shampoo, 
conditioner there's a oil and then there's a moisturizing lotion <clears throat> i usually use all of them you know i mean i already bought them already paid for them so sometimes i'll base around it with i use vaseline and i'll base around it but that's when i've been like itching 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 and i don't want it to get burned otherwise i don't because when i base it with the oil it takes a little bit longer to um process on the sides so i don't do it if it's not necessary but if i've been like brushing in my hair brushing my hair itching it itching it itching it itching it then i do not do not skip the basin okay they actually do sell the stuff to base but all it needs to do is just be petroleum so i just use petroleum jelly Guys, the middle of my ear is the absolute hardest to process. Hardest, hardest, hardest. Yeah, when I was, when I just started high school, well, not when I just started, when I went to grade eight, I suddenly felt like I was a big woman. So I started to comb my own hair and i never comb the middle until this day guys i am very 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 bad at combing the middle of my ear so i didn't comb the middle so it not up in a big old bun so one day my aunt grabbed me and she comb it out and she done comb it out the middle peel out and guess what my auntie do she part it just like this but she catch up on her back and she catch up them two here and she left out the middle for breeze catch it so you can grow back when me in a grade eight i got high school and it really it never grow back as my ear texture it is the thickest part of my hair right now and it's really harder to process And guys when you're applying the ear cream try to be as quick as you can um, apply it to the more delicate areas last so if you can wait to apply to the front then wait some people some people ear front is more difficult to process by all means go ahead and apply to the front Alright, method to cream your ear is not to apply to the scalp, but you know, that don't make no sense in black people ear. That don't make no sense for my ear because if I ain't gonna put it in the scalp, it ain't gonna process. Okay guys, I forgot to get a towel. Hold on.
twice and then you know i just do the whole smoothing because that's actually one of the most important parts of the processing process <laughs> I like to smooth it out because it helps with the straightening and the processing. Um, some people actually skip this process because especially if you're tender headed, um, it tend to hold on. Especially if you're tender headed this part of the process sometimes give people burns you know if it's already scorched or whatever but in my case i feel absolutely nothing relates to burns so i go ahead and smooth away if you notice how much time i spend on the middle guys the middle is like my baby when I'm processing my hair because it takes the longest to process. Okay, another thing too, guys, because I apply the ear cream by myself, I take longer. So the time between completing application and washing out the ear cream, in my case, is usually shorter than when I go to the ear dresser because... You know, she applied faster, so she have more time, you know, to have it processed. And it's never a good idea to leave, to over-process your ear. Because it just starts to break too fragile and it breaks off and all that. I didn't, I went such a long time without processing my ear because I couldn't make up my mind what I want to do. A very big part of me wanted to cut it really 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 low and you know just wear a little short curly curly hairstyle until it grows you know put a little color and you know just a little change but i couldn't find the courage i don't know where you guys find the courage to cut all your hair off but every time i comb out mine i'm like oh shit, no i'm not gonna cut it but I want to cut it so bad, guys. So hopefully, probably by the next time I'm supposed to cream it, I'll actually get the courage to do it. But for right now, I'm going to um, wash this all out. And I will see you soon. <sighs> guys, just make sure you rinse it out properly. Rinse out the cream, rinse out the cream, rinse out the cream. Yeah. Guys, I don't know if any of you hate washing your, not hate washing your hair, but hate having your head under the pipe when you're washing it. Man, 
I don't know, but I can't take it because I feel like, I don't know, maybe it's lack of trust or something, but I feel like something's going to happen to me. So I, I don't know, I get anxiety. You know how some people can shower and wash their hair same time and just have the water running down? Hell no, I am not doing that. Okay, guys, so I am done. I am done with the hard part. So I don't like blow my hair right away or whatnot. Um, I let it sit there and air dry for a couple of hours. Depending, I guess, depending on how hot the day is. It depends on how fast or depends on what I'm doing because sometimes I just have my hair like this and I go out and run errands and that way it dries really quickly and I just blow it. Just put, just put in some of this oil that comes in the packet on it. That way when it dries, it's not um fuzzy uh, what no. hey guys welcome back welcome 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 so i i think it's not well air dried like i would like it to be but um it has hair dried enough for me to use the blow dryer without overexposing it to heat because guys as i said my my hair is very thin and i try to limit the amount of heat that i use as much as i can so let me get this all dried up okay <laughs> my posse i am done with this here well i'm done with it done with it it's gonna be flat for a few for a few days or probably like a week or two because as i said my air is so light so it's gonna look a little bit flat but then it's gonna start you know 
fluffing up a little bit it's gonna start fluffing up a little bit once it starts or once it get that first wash give it like two weeks and then it gets that first wash it's gonna start you know fluffing up and not being so flat but once i just cream my hair you know this is how it's gonna be so guys let me know how i did let me know how i did how i did how i did and don't forget to like comment share subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend tell a friend to tell a friend <laughs> yes guys so sim sima in the ear dresser mode once more so peace out the truth.